It is Theater Thursday. Join the Albuquerque Little Theater for an exciting murder mystery. And this is the deal. A witness a seesaw battle as a defense attorney uses every device he can to save the neck of an Army lieutenant who uh, has killed his wife's attacker. So this is an interesting plot. Here with more on the anatomy of a murder. When you can see it, Ryan Jason Cook, John Wiley. Glad you both are here, gentlemen. Good Thank morning. you very Ryan much. directs, right? <clears throat> yes, sir. And John, you're in the cast. Yes. All right. So tell us about this. I love a good murder mystery. Oh yeah. You know, and a lot of people love books, and they love to see it play out on stage. What's this about? Well, we kind of follow the the life of a down on his luck lawyer, who's played by John Wy John Wyatt plays Paul Beegler. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we catch him. He just had lost the defense attorney battle to a younger, slicker, mm. city slicker of a, a lawyer. And so we he's down on his luck, and he's having to become a defense attorney, which is a whole different ball game in the world of attorneys. And then we are introduced to Lieutenant Mannion, played by Michael Wepler, and he just had killed the attacker of his wife, um, who was played by uh, Paige Underwood, his Laura Mannion. And so what happens is, is she's brutally attacked and beaten by mm. a bartender, Barney Quill, and so then in a fit of rage, Lieutenant Mannion heads over there and sh shoots and kills him. Wow. Yes. There's a lot of uh, intense moments in this yes, production yes, as yeah, well. It actually very <laughs> is, yeah. And then, so what happens is, is then Paul Beegler, the lawyer, has to discover the circumstances and the truths and the lies and mm -hmm. kind of everything unfolds before our eyes in the courtroom. And then he goes up against Claude Dancer, a big-time city slicker lawyer. And so as they get in the courtroom, then there's a lot of battles back and forth. John, your role then in this is to kind of maybe be a detective and solve the whole thing? Sort of. I take the audience kind of by the hand from the beginning when I come out of the deep Michigan woods and suddenly things start to evolve suddenly. And uh, the Jimmy Stewart part, I think you sort of, you have to sort of be an everyman and just open up yourself to all these things that start happening. And I think the audience will be intrigued as we go along as this mystery un unravels. It sounds like people may be familiar with the name of this, and I've heard it before as well. It's a screen production. It is, yep. And how does this differ from that production? Well, it's it's a lot about a modern audience now, because back in it came out in 1959, mm -hmm. and when it was it was well received. I mean, it got it won several awards. It was best picture at the time. It was best uh, leading role in Jimmy Stewart, and but it's a whole different audience back in 1959. Mm -hmm. And in 1959, the movie was very taboo because it was the first time a lot of these situations mm -hmm. were brought brought to people's faces mm -hmm. in the in the film. Sure, I can imagine. Uh, yeah, and so doing it on stage to an audience here in the 21st century, it's the movie moves slower and a slower pace and everything moves slower back then. So now it's about trying to keep the pace and the anxiety, excitement of the characters bigger so that the a modern audience can follow the story. Some people at home may be wondering, John, is this for all audiences? Well, not so much for young children, no. Mm -hmm. uh, teenagers, I think, Sure, but some of the themes and a little bit of the language, perhaps, uh, no, I wouldn't bring okay. the little ones. <laughs> Good to know. Sounds fascinating, though. When and where can we see it? Albuquerque Little Theater. We okay. open tomorrow night. Uh, it runs for three weekends, Friday and Saturday, 7.30, and Sundays at 2 o'clock. What about ticket prices? Currently, the general admission is $22. We do have several discounts for group rates, senior citizens, students, stuff like that. And I imagine you've worked a long time on this production as well to <laughs> get all prepared for yeah, we started right before the Christmas break. We got a, then we got about a two-week break in between, then we picked back up. Looking forward to it. Well, uh, we've got more information, krqe.com for folks at home. KRQE links is where you want to go from the homepage. And best of luck with the production. Look forward Thank to you. hearing how it goes. Thank you very much. We'll be right back, everybody.